This video was made possible in part by a grant from the Education Foundation of Downers Grove, District 58. Since 2002, the foundation has invested more than $219,000 in programs directly benefiting the students and staff of District 58. For more information about the foundation, visit our website at www.58foundation.org or call 630-854-8837. Welcome to Downers Grove Grade School, District 58, and Grove Children's Preschool. We are happy that you may soon be joining our school family. You will find that in District 58, we are very proud of the quality education and caring environment we provide for our students. In partnership with both parents and the community, District 58's Grove Children's Preschool strives to challenge each child by providing quality educational programs and support services in safe, nurturing environments in order to prepare all students to be lifelong learners. That's not only the District 58 mission, it is our passion, and we welcome you to come in for a visit and experience this difference for yourself. We hope you enjoy this video presentation about Grove Children's Preschool, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Grove Children's Preschool welcomes all District 58 children ages 3 through 5. Our program is designed to assist District 58 families in meeting the educational needs and promoting the success of their children in safe, secure, and nurturing educational environments. The program focuses on high quality enrichment experiences and the process of student growth through active, fun, first-hand experiences and interaction between the preschool student and his world. It concentrates on the way preschool students learn and utilizes the natural motivations, abilities, and interests of these very young students. Grove Children's Preschool is based upon a research-based program called Creative Curriculum. The Creative Curriculum is recognized by the National Association of the Education of Young Children and is designed specifically to meet the social, emotional, and academic needs of children ages three to five. The Creative Curriculum provides a variety of active and quiet work play centers that give children an opportunity to make choices, create, and interact with the other students within an education environment. The staff at Grove Preschool is comprised of teachers certified in early childhood education and special education. Each classroom is staffed with a minimum of one teacher and two teaching assistants. In addition, fully licensed specialists are available to assist students with identified needs. Grove Children's Preschool is an inclusive setting that welcomes children of various learning levels. The diversity of the preschool setting is a tremendous positive of the program. It provides an atmosphere of learning and promotes understanding, tolerance, and acceptance of others. Students identified with special needs are serviced through a support staff that include occupational, physical, and speech therapists. We invite you to visit us at Grove Children's Preschool and see what we're all about. A typical day at District 58's Grove Children's Preschool follows a consistent routine. The two and a half hour session is divided mainly between center time and group time. There are established routines with opportunities to play, learn, explore, interact with peers, and further develop skills that will later be expanded when the children enter kindergarten. All students are actively involved and warmly welcomed into the all-inclusive environment. The classroom environment is an essential part of the program. All children over the age of three are welcome to join the Grove Children's Preschool. By creating a diverse and warm learning environment, children are given the opportunity to learn from their peers as well as their teachers. I think that it's wonderful that the program does allow you to have different backgrounds and different children. It gives your child a chance to see what other children are like, that they may be a little bit different, but they're still in yet the same. I have a younger toddler who has some mild special needs, and uh, it's allowed her older sister to feel that 
there's other children at different ages that have the same experiences and the same needs, and yet they're still a part of the group even though they might need to be taught a little bit differently or approached a little bit differently. And you'll find that your child will come home and, and share stories of things that they've learned about other students in their class that is different than them, but it's something that's that's interesting and it's appreciated because it's just a part of being another child and just being another part of the, the group. So I think it's, it's wonderful to allow them to see that and experience it and it gives positive results I think in the long run. Learning with and from other children in the classroom promotes a lifelong skill of tolerance and understanding. The socialization for my son I think is one of the most important aspects of the program because at this age a lot of what you're trying to teach your child uh, is not only learning their ABCs and their numbers and recognition of all that and learning stories and enjoying books but a lot of it is actually being able to interact conflict resolution at a young age and learning how to share properly and play appropriately and so those are the things I think that are you know, they're reinforced at home, but in a school atmosphere when you have other children that he's interacting with his age that he has to learn how to engage in some of those skills that, that you know, aren't readily available at home because you don't have all the children in that environment. That's one of the most important aspects of the socialization of the preschool program. A typical day at District 58's Grove Children's Preschool begins with the arrival of the preschool students. Children are encouraged to unpack their belongings independently and then select a quiet activity in the classroom. Exciting decisions are made here as a student may decide to read a book, work a puzzle, or start an art project. Seemingly simple things like arriving and unpacking a backpack are great learning opportunities for the children. Learning routines and making choices are areas that the preschool children work on every day. Parents and teachers are able to see great growth in the children's abilities as the children master basic routines in the classroom. The children grow so much when they're first coming to preschool. They're really learning about the school routine and so at the beginning of the year they may not know how to hang up their backpack or what to do with their coat when they come to school which are routines that they're going to use throughout their school life. They learn those right away and by the end of the year it's amazing because they are doing all of the school routines independently for the most part with just a little support which is really really fun to watch. Amy Marciniak, a parent with triplets in the program, agrees. It's been a good environment for them to be around other children, for them to start learning how to be in a classroom, how to listen to a teacher, how to have patience, how to sit down, how to sit still. It's been a very positive experience for them. Right away, students begin learning from teachers, and as they meet and make friends with the other children, they also begin to learn from their peers. I think that's one of the great parts of this job is to see the growth in how these children really mature and develop with just play skills and having the right materials and equipment to start it out with a nice good jump start before they get to regular school. After the students unpack and settle in, the consistent routine of the day continues as the group gathers together for meeting time. Meeting time is a great place to learn about the news of the day and all of the day's activities. Independence and decision making are highlighted as children are actively involved in making choices about which centers they will attend that day. Where are you going to play, Layla? At the scooping table. At the scooping table. Have fun. Who's this boy? Where are you going to play, Brandon? Making choices is an important part of the day. It is a process that builds skills, confidence, and self esteem, as well as a sense of responsibility for the children students are actively learning life skills. We work on self-help skills such as washing hands. We teach them to wash their hands. We work on having a snack, so eating a meal, sitting down at a table, teaching manners. And we hope that those will carry over so that family meal times can become more enjoyable too at home. We also teach about standing in a line and keeping your hands to yourself, which are important life skills for in the classroom and outside of the classroom activities. 
The children are exposed to many such learning opportunities and teachable moments. The ability to communicate with teachers and peers is another valuable skill. Social skills and cooperation are promoted within the preschool setting. We have children of all different age levels, three, four, and five years old. And the children are able to learn how to communicate with their peers. We use a lot of language and the children can discuss with their friends which toys they want to play with and they have to use positive words when they're talking with their friends and communicating with the teachers in the classroom as well. Center time is another exciting and special part of a preschooler's day. It's a time when the students are in control of their own learning. We encourage the children to be independent throughout the day, especially during our center time, which is the majority of our day. The children get a planning card, and with this planning card, they're able to choose which center they want to go to, and this encourages them to independently select which activities they want throughout the center time. It's giving them a sense of responsibility. They have a responsibility to go to an area and become involved and engaged in that activity and increases their self-esteem also by them being able to make a choice and feel good about the choice that they've made. And of course, traditional academics are also addressed during center time. Every day, the teachers are thinking about the academics where we want the children to be able to be at before kindergarten. We're very aware of the skills that kindergartners have or need to have when they enter kindergarten. And exposure to pre-literacy activities, which is very important, working on the alphabet, and just talking about things in our environment. She has go fish too? Uh -huh. You have the same snack? Cleanup follows the centers as students help sort, categorize, organize, and practice cooperating with others as they put away the classroom and center materials. Each child has a job in the classroom, and so it's their responsibility to do a fun job, such as being the line leader, the line ender, being able to feed a pet that may be in the classroom. We have helpers to push in the chairs and to help with our meeting activities, which include being the calendar helper, helping with the weather, checking the weather, being the leader for the Pledge of Allegiance, or holding a flag during our flag song. The jobs also create a sense of responsibility and they create a great deal of self-esteem because the children feel very proud that they get to have their special job each week. Group time is up next. The children and adults meet together in large or small groups. Each day is different and exciting as the students work on language activities, such as reading stories or singing songs. Students might join together to play music or practice movement. Some group sessions have students working on making graphs or participating in recall activities and games. Every day is different and every day is full of learning and fun. Following group time, it's time to exercise. Exercise is always done in a fun way, as students work on large motor skills, such as hopping or clapping, while being further inspired by age-appropriate music. Physical games are also often part of exercise time. Sometimes, when the weather is just right, exercise time takes place outside on the playground. When the students are actively involved in their learning by playing and being physical, they are enhancing their physical skills as well as their confidence. I've seen Riley grow in multiple ways, I think, first and foremost with her confidence. She feels very sure of herself and her surroundings. It's allowed her to build up a relationship with other children as well as, as her teachers and, and the aides. It's helped her academic-wise. It's allowed her to be able to feel confident to express that. It's just uh, built, I think, more of a well-rounded individual. Before you know it, another day at the Grove Children's Preschool ends as students get ready for dismissal. The students are again encouraged to be independent as they collect their belongings and get ready to head home. With a smile and a wave, the students are off. 
The days are always busy at the Grove Children's Preschool. Children are constantly learning and being exposed to new information and experiences. Both parents and teachers see great growth in the children as they experience the program. I think within this program, the children are able to grow because there are so many areas of development that they are learning within the program. They are able to grow physically, developmentally, socially, emotionally. They are able to learn language and they're constantly talking throughout the day. They're learning everything they can. They're learning how to be friends with the other children and they're learning a lot of good school readiness skills within the program. Grove Children's Preschool has an open communication with the parents and families of the children. Teachers contact home in a variety of ways, including newsletters, communication folders, and parent-teacher conferences. During the parent-teacher conference, they receive a progress report about their child, which is based on the creative curriculum, which is our curriculum. So they get to learn about how their child is progressing in the area of social-emotional development, physical development, cognitive development, and language development. And it's a great time for us to talk about how things are going at home and also how things are going at school. We create newsletters which go home, and they usually go home about every other week. They are written by the classroom teacher, and it would explain events that we have done in the classroom, upcoming events, and it, it also gives a calendar so that the parents can plan ahead and know what's going to be coming as far as field trips or possible opportunities for parties or events in the classroom. Parents are invited to participate in the fun by chaperoning field trips or volunteering in the classroom. We have parents who volunteer every day in the classroom and they may come into the classroom or they can volunteer their services like cutting or doing some activities at home for the classroom activities. We also have family fun nights every month and these are theme-based nights where the whole family is encouraged to come and we have lots of activities for the whole families to enjoy. The Grove Children's Preschool is a beloved program that welcomes and caters to the needs of the three to five year old. Tremendous growth and success is seen each year as the students begin to prepare for their education careers. The preschool's warm and inclusive environment and well-rounded curriculum brings praise from both teachers and parents. It's a very well-rounded program and I would recommend it to anybody. They love learning, they love life, and it really reflects being a teacher within the program. It's a very close and involved community, which is really nice. The resources and the staffing has been wonderful, and it's been such a plus that I, I would encourage anybody to experience it. I think it would be a rewarding experience both for the child as well as for the family. District 58's Grove Children's Preschool offers a great opportunity for children to get ahead in education. We look forward to meeting you and welcoming you into our family.